don't know where to start. That was just probably the hardest act I'll ever get to follow. It's just absolutely unbelievable. Thank you. So, um, if you'll please excuse me, I will try to say a few words. So, um, I don't know what to say. I'm sort of stunned. This is a very special moment for all of us. This is, I think, a key moment for us as a people. We're coming together. And I guess as Chief Scientist, I, I get to see just the most amazing things as a scientist. But I also get to see life. And I get to see culture. And I've been trying to learn a little bit of Nunga because I see language as a window to culture. And I've just been blessed by the people who've taught me and guided me along this journey. And I guess I'm really thrilled to see what the NRA is doing here because this is potentially the beginning of a new way. I have a saying, eye to eye, ideas to implementation. Ideas are cheap. Implementing them is the hard bit. So what we've got to do is to take these really good, solid ideas and to translate them into practical outcomes so that when we look back and our purunka look back at us, they go, they got it right. This was their moment when they had to stand up and they got it right. We have had a whole lot of bad stuff that's happened, but this is our moment where we, as a collective, as a group, can come together and show the healing and feel the healing from all sides and be like a beacon to the rest of the world so they can see us and they can go, you know what? Those people, they went through some bad shit. Some seriously bad stuff. But they've turned it around. And they've turned it around and they've brought joy and love to this particular part of the world that we, in other parts of the planet, can emulate. And it's a coming together of 65,000 years of knowledge. 65,000 years. The language of the Nuga people has been resonating through this part of the world. And what we're doing now is bringing old ways and new ways together. And I've been blessed by people who've helped me to understand how powerful, how palpably powerful it is to bring old ways and new ways together. There is nowhere else in the world, in my view, where you can bring together the ancient and the modern 
like we camped in. Western Australia has got the oldest rocks on the planet, out in the Pilbara. We have got the oldest fossils on the planet, and they're even older than me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that funny, sister. <laughs> it's an old line I've used it before. I'm sorry for those of you who've heard it before. We've got the oldest living things on the planet, the stromatolites up in Shark Bay. We've got the oldest continuous culture on the planet that's been going for at least 65,000 years. And when I go down to Wadani Buja every Thursday night down near Woodichuk, down in the Margaret River area, I feel a cleansing because I go down there and I can just feel the beauty, the Kwabit Upwija. It's just beautiful. It's a, it's a moment for us to come together in a way that you wouldn't have imagined not that long ago. I believe this is our moment to actually stand up. This is our moment to bring it all together. And this is our moment to heal. And from here, we can actually spread it across the globe. I guess there are so many things that I wrote down. Uh, you'll have to excuse me if I prattle on a little bit today. So uh, I, I feel incredibly fortunate that I, I, I got a place down in Wadani, which I just uh, near me, uh, wouldn't chuck this house near Maya, Aliwa Walic. It's, I call it, we call it Aliwa Walic because when we were there, the father and our friends, he said, Ali Walic, Walic. We just had this deer come down, and just circles, you know, 10, 20 meters above us, and just followed us where we went. And if that wasn't a sign that this is the beginning of something where the wallach goes up high and it can see over a big distance, and then it can strike and be very impactful. And I think that's what we have to do lift ourselves up, be very high take the helicopter view, and then make sure we come down and we deliver. Close to where I live is a, is, is a cave called Devil's Lair. And it, Devil's Lair is not just a winery. Right? It's, it's a cave there. And it's called Devil's Lair because the Tasmanian, there were remnants of the Tasmanian Tas Devil there. And in it is the oldest campfire that's recorded, the remnants of the oldest campfire in Australia, and that goes back 40,800 years. Right? So if you can imagine what those people were doing, sitting around a campfire 40,800 years ago, and what they were doing, what they were thinking. And if you go into the corner of that cave, you can find some stone tools that are 48,000 years old. This is ancient <coughs> land. This is ancient history. This is something that we bring together with modern technology and we bring together the old ways and the new ways in what hopefully will be our new normal. On that note, I'll stop, I'll stop prattling, I'll stop crying. I'll just say, Boro and Jinam, thank you very much, I'll see you later.